we're going to go through the test four sample and we're going to be doing all the version A's throughout. Uh, you want to make sure you also do uh, version B as well, since the questions on the test will be similar to either one of these versions. At the end of the blank sample test is a formula sheet, and you'll be allowed to use that during the test. That's the same one that you'll be provided with uh, for the actual exam. Uh, so that has all of your anti derivative formulas on it. So with that, let's get started with this one, 1A. I want to find the indefinite integral. Now this uh, is going to require you to use the inverse power rule. The best way to do this is to first break this down. So as it is right here, we're going to go ahead and divide everything on top by what you have on the bottom. We want to get it all down into just some powers so that way we can use the inverse power rule on this one. So I'm going to do 9 divided by, we can make this a y to the 2 thirds power, so y to the 2 thirds and then plus four y to the third over, uh, again, I'll make it the same, I'll do the same as the other one, y to the two thirds. Okay, now next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this, we're gonna divide each of these. And so we're in the next step, we're going to make that nine y to negative two thirds. So we'll just change all these into powers. Uh, this one, we have to subtract the exponents. We have a plus four y, and then if we subtract these, uh, three, we can write that as nine thirds. So nine thirds minus two thirds is seven thirds. So seven, we have that four y to the seven thirds and then uh, dy. Now for each of these, we're gonna use the inverse power rule, raise the power by one and divide by the new power. We'll do that for each of these. And once we do that, you no longer have to write the integrand symbol once you apply the antiderivative formula. So for this, we have nine, we're gonna raise the power by one. So if we add three over three, that's one third. We divide it by one third. Next, we have a four. We have y to the seven thirds. So we're gonna raise that power by one. So we're gonna add three thirds to that. So you get 10 thirds and then divide by 10 thirds. Don't forget to add the plus C at this point as well. All the, any kind of problem that has indefinite integral like that, you wanna make sure you put a plus C on your answer. So don't forget to do that for those questions. All right, now next we're going to rewrite this. We're gonna flip, uh, flip this uh, and multiply. So that one's gonna give you a 27y to the one third. And then this one here, when you flip it, that's gonna give you a uh, 12 tenths. So 12 tenths, we can reduce that uh, to six fifths. So six fifths y to the 10 thirds and then plus c. And that right there would be your final answer.